Today we're going to talk about the new Taiwanese series on Netflix, The Victim's Game. So let's get started. <music> Hey everybody, my name is Justin. I love to watch movies. If you guys love to watch movies too and Netflix during this quarantine time, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. After discovering his estranged daughter's link to mysterious murders, a forensic detective with Asperger's syndrome risks everything to solve the case. I'm not even going to attempt some of these names. I would feel really bad if I just completely butchered them. But we have a forensic detective with Asperger's. He ends up teaming up with an arrogant journalist. And if you're fans of like any CSI show or any detective show, the ones that take two odd pairings and ones that really don't have a connection or anything similar to each other, then you've probably seen The Victim's Game. This is your typical unlikely partner in crime kind of thriller, and it really works. I really liked The Victim's Game. It's a lengthy series, six episodes, not that long compared to your average Netflix series, but each episode is over an hour long. So it took some time to get through, but definitely was worth it. It was a thrilling show that really built up this mystery of the string of murders and who was the murderer throughout the show. Good thrillers like this and detective movies and TV shows, in order for them to work and be effective, you have to have a mystery that you're engaged with and you want to solve it with them and want to know the next clue or who is the murderer. You want to be right there with them solving the case. And Victim's Game gives me everything I would want for a show like this, a detective thriller show. I was hooked on the case right away. It started off in a really grisly note. And from there, it built up each episode by providing another clue, another murder, and another suspect. As we were going along with this couple, each of them have their own methods of solving the case and getting clues and answers out of people. The journalist is resourceful. She knows how to kind of manipulate people. So he kind of goes off the books to solve this case on his own with the journalist. I like the characters individually. I thought they were really interesting and how ambitious they were and how motivated they were to solve the case. And I really like them as a pair as well. They kind of filled in each other's gaps and complimented the other person. What seemed like a easy case to solve after a suicide in the beginning of the show, the pairing got caught up in a string of events and murders, and they found themselves against a serial killer, which made the show feel really quick despite it being six hours plus long. It had a really quick pace, and you were always anticipating the next episode. The victim's game at times also is a bit gruesome and bloody, the way that certain people are dying within the series. We have different individuals throughout the series that these two pairings are finding and how they ended up being killed and why they were killed in the first place and how they are connected to the serial killer. It was a really interesting show that I felt really engaged with when watching it. I liked the characters. It shot very well. It's really dark. It matches the tone of the series. And Yi Jen, who is the detective, is also looking for his missing daughter, so he has a connection to the case as well. So a lot of it feels urgent for him, and we have the journals who is right there to help him. So. They work well as a team. The Victims Game was a great series. It was thrilling. It was very violent. It was an interesting show and I wanted to see how the story was going to unfold and it gave me everything that makes like a mystery like this work. And I think it was just an awesome show that I wanted to get, that I wanted to finish right away from, see, that I wanted to finish right away to see how it was going to turn out. I'm gonna go ahead and give The Victims Game a B plus. Thank you guys for my review for The Victim's Game, a new Taiwanese Netflix series. Stay tuned for more up-and-coming content. My name is Just Watch Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.